Hello guys, Blackpike here, so welcome on my another unboxing video. So today we are looking at A50 cooler from Corsair. And uh, let's have a look on the box first. So first thing is two years warranty with Corsair. Mm, and then some useful information, I mean the CPU compatibility. Maybe not the CPU, but sockets to be honest. Is the Intel 775, Intel 1156, N55 as they are using the same uh, holes uh, Intel 1366 and AMD both of them is AM2 and AMT sockets so basically this is good for any socket on the market now uh, right on the side of the box we got some information uh, regarding the cooler itself dimensions uh, and then fan speed which is between 1600 and 2000 rpms uh, airflow is between 50 and 61 CFM and the noise level is between 26 and 31 decibels 20, 31 and a half decibels which is quite quiet and at the back of the box uh, we got the test uh, which the, which costs are done mm, uh, and this is the comparison with uh, stock Intel stock cooler and this uh, A50 cooler this, the test was done on the i7-965 processor which was running at the stock speed uh, 3.2 GHz and as you can see the stock cooler reached you know, more than 80 degrees at the full load and the A50 with the 2000 RPMs not even 60 so this is just rough idea I know how efficient this cooler is right so let's open the box <coughs> I have to tell you one thing, I bought this uh, item as a um, B grade, uh, so it's not brand new, I'm, I'm not sure you know it was used before or not, or just is the, it is the open box, but this is the B grade which I bought from Overclockers. Right, so open the box, we we'll open the box now, we'll take off the contents, nice and easy, okay, as you can see it's that was open definitely okay so what we got here is the user manual how to fit your cooler into your uh, CPU into your, into your socket how to plug in and where to plug in uh, now is the information do not return this uh, product to the store just you have to return this directly to Corsair and then they will probably send you a placement if something wrong with with your product okay let's open the accessory box another leaflet uh, and this is all right so that's this is just uh, information about the products you know that are selling which is memory cooling solutions power supplies and pc cases of course the ssds as well mm. now we got the fun here and the fan is already attached to the bracket uh, which is going directly to the to the cooler and it's attached using the rubbers you know dumping uh, materials to prevent you know the vibration and that that is the good thing I believe it should be easy to fit on the on the cooler itself and the three pin cable and it's quite short and I like it because you know you don't need a long cable for the you know CPU cooler as the, the fan header you know for the CPU cooler is always you know near the socket so you don't need the long cable which is nice okay and now I'm not sure what is this doing here this is the <laughs> Molex to SATA cable adapter I'm not sure why probably someone put this by mistake right so one back with the accessories is the H50 H50 thermal grease, some screws, and uh, fan another fan cable, probably not to reduce the speed. Yes, yeah, so probably this one is for using the lower RPMs. Uh, you have to attach this to this uh, fan cable. Some brackets for AMD and Intel mounting. Okay, and is the back plate for Intel CPUs uh, yes and here you can set 1366, 1156 and 55 and 775 at the bottom so you have just to move you know these screws to set it to the right socket 
Okay, so that's it, and uh, let's open the foam with the with the cooler. Come on. Okay, so here is the top of the cooler with the nice coastal logo, and it's black, and three heat pipes, which they are directly touching the CPU. That should help with the temperatures to drop the temperatures. So as you can see, it's the same solution like Asus, you know, doing in their graphic cards. Just direct, direct uh, contact with the CPU itself. So the thickness of the, of the heatsink is like this. It's not very thick, but that, that's good because probably it won't interrupt, you know, when mounting uh, in your, uh, on your motherboard, that sometimes when you have the high uh, RAM sticks, that disturbing, you know, if the, the cooler is too big. So this is looking like this, and then I will try to fit the fan on the heatsink itself. So as I said, you know, it should be easy job, and I believe, yeah, that's it. So it's sitting now solid. So it's very easy, very nice that you know are using the rubber grommets, you know, to prevent the, the vibrations, and the assembled cooler looking like this so it's quite high uh, so probably that's good because you know some Norbridge uh, heat sinks on, on the motherboards are quite high so you need the high um, coolers you know to fit on the motherboards okay so the last look and I will be doing a review of this cooler soon probably in a couple of days time I'm waiting for, for the PC case for my son and then I can assemble uh, the whole PC for him so then I will do some tests and I will compare them to the uh, different cooler you know which is already installed on, on his CPU okay so I think that's it guys and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time